It's time for Access the Experts from the University of Nebraska at Omaha with your host, Brandon Aximit. Hello and welcome to another edition of Access the Experts on News Channel Nebraska, where every Tuesday and Thursday, University of Nebraska at Omaha faculty members answer today's questions facing our state. Now today we have the pleasure of hearing from Jack Zerby, who is a professor and director of UNO's School of the Arts. So Jack, today's question is, what kinds of viable careers are there for those who study visual and performing arts? Brandon, thank you for that question. This is actually one of my favorite things to talk about because the arts have this reputation as being a non-utilitarian field when in fact, nothing could be farther from the case. So let's talk about what you can do with a degree in art, theater, or even creative writing. All three of those programs are represented in UNO School of the Arts. So in art or theater or writing, Every one of those could be a teacher. There are lots of teaching jobs at the university and at the school level, but you could also be a studio artist, an illustrator, a graphic designer. These are all for art, um, a museum curator or a gallery owner. And in theater, I know a lot of people think about acting, but there's a lot of other work to be done in the theater. There's directors, designers, technicians, stage managers, events managers, company managers, box office managers, public relations people, costume designers, and, and then there's costume uh, technicians. There's lots to do. And in creative writing, um, you could be the editor of a mainstream uh, publishing house or a small literary press or university press or even an online publication. Uh, a lot of writers are good with advertising because they're so good with words, or they're sometimes grant writers or public relations writers. All of those writing skills are very useful across a number of fields. But here's the great surprise. What people don't know is that the arts are superb at developing exactly those abilities that employers want. Critical thinking, creative problem solving, communication, collaboration, Nobody does that better than somebody who has studied the arts. So you could be in business management, you could be in counseling, you could be in public service, the legal field, science. So here are just a few things that some alums that I know have been doing with degrees in the arts. Art therapists, psychologist, small business owner, um, there's a, one of my former students is the CEO of Lionsgate Television. Not a bad gig, eh? Um, another theater person, guess what? The president of Villanova University was a theater guy. And didn't we have an American president that people like Ronald Reagan, who was an actor? So you could also be a lawyer. You could be a leader of any number of political organizations at any number of levels. We have nurses, we have doctors, we have bank loan officers, human resources people, respiratory technicians. Perhaps my favorite is I have two former students, both of whom are now pastors because they're really good at empathy and communication. So there's lots of things to do with a degree in the arts. Thank you for asking, give me a chance to talk about it. Thank you, Jack, for sharing your expertise. For our viewers at home, we want you to interact with UNO's experts, so if you have a question that you want answered, go to newschannelnebraska.com to submit it. I'm Brandon Aximit. We'll see you next time. Access the Experts, presented by the University of Nebraska at Omaha. If you have questions, submit them on our website. Then join us every Tuesday and Thursdays at 6.46 a.m. and p.m. while we answer your questions.